Hello guys, Luce here. Welcome back to another video, and this is a very big one. This is the installation tutorial of Byteverse FIFA 21 Reels Mod 1.1. If you don't know what my Reels Mod is, it's the biggest mod for FIFA 21 that adds tons of new faces and graphics and licenses teams and has a gameplay mod, has tattoos, and obviously, you know, makes scouting more realistic, transfers, etc, etc. I will link a video to the 1.0 trailer that shows the main features of the mod. And if you want to know what's changed in 1.1, there's obviously a change log, but I've also made a reveal video about the big features which should appear on screen now, and uh, I will link to in the description. Um, and if you already know how to install the mod, and you're wondering, well, is, is anything different between how we uh, installed it on 1.0 and 1.1? Yes, two things have changed. One, you're going to want to use a newer version of the mod manager. And second, there's a new way of how we download the files, uh, like a new uh, uh, service provider instead of uh, Mediafire and Mega. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Uh, to download the mod, you're going to want to go to Fight for Mods dot com slash fiv21.realsmod link is in the description and appearing on screen and you're going to want to disable your ad blocker and you're going to go here it'll bring you here we can see uh we can see the installation tutorial the discord uh, if you want to watch the trailer click here we can see the features but you want to click the download button then it will be here we can see the version we can see it's an early access um, if this version has changed, if it's a newer version, this tutorial should still apply, or if it's, you know, public, it should still apply, but I may have made a, a newer tutorial, so uh, why don't you go to my channel and check that out. And then you can see the same video you're watching now. So you click download, and it'll bring you here, this is the 1.1 Patreon post. And what I will say is that currently the mod is still in early access, which means it's not publicly available, only to $2 plus patrons. So how it works is when the mod is uh, is in its uh, final release, the first seven days it's only available to $2 plus patrons, and then after that anyone can access it, it's totally free. So the mod was released May 2nd, which means that it'll become public on May 9th. And the exact time of the release will be the exact same time um, as uh, it was released on May 2nd, uh, and I'm talking about hours slash uh, minute time, obviously. Um, I've been recording this before it's actually been released, so I don't exactly know what the exact time will be, but I will say on Twitter and Discord when it is released, and you can be able to check on the Patreon page, obviously. But I'll walk you over a few things here. Uh, if you want to become a patron, it's very easy to do. Uh, you want to go to patreon.com slash is in the description. Um, and you can see many of the different tiers. The $1, uh, the $1 tier is, is nice, but it won't give you access. You're going to need at least the $2 tier. Um, but there are also some higher ones if you want to get access to betas or alphas or custom faces or progress updates stuff like that You can become there. Um, it is two dollars per month But you can cancel any time so you can get the mod uh, You can become a patron download the mod and then cancel and you'll only ever be charged two dollars And if you sign up annually, you'll save ten percent But now I will walk you over a few things. The first thing is going to be the features list uh, this thing is uh, Well shows everything the mod has so uh, you can go here fightformods.com slash fifa21-reelsmod slash features. Links are obviously in the description and on the Patreon post, and you can see everything the mod has. And there are, again, a lot, a lot of changes. So you're gonna see, oh, what does this mod do to simulation? And then we'd see, wow, a lot of changes. <laughs> and then credits. I could not have made this mod myself. A ton of people have contributed to boots and faces and graphics uh, and tattoos and regen faces, and the squad file, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the biggest person I need to thank is GNKlein92, who has done so much work for the mod in the squad file, and database, and importing, and exporting, and organizing things. So he's active on the Discord, which I'll talk about in a minute. So if you get to see him, make sure you thank him, and thank everyone else who has contributed to this mod. Last thing I'm going to talk about before I actually get into the download is turn off auto updates. This is a very serious thing because I believe there will be a FIFA update within the next week or so. And when there's a FIFA update, the mod uh, doesn't work uh, if you have updated. So you want to disable auto updates so you don't update FIFA because it may take me some time to get 1.2 out or a hot fix um, because this update, I think it will be very, very big. So uh, don't delay it off. Go and uh, turn off auto updates right now. I've made a tutorial on how you can do it for Origin, Steam, and EA Desktop. It will appear on screen right now and link is in the description. It's one of the newest videos on my channel. So don't put it off because you might forget. Go do it right now. Turn off auto updates and then come back. Okay, so uh, uh, next thing you want to do, well, is we're going to get into downloading the mod. Uh, we're using a new provider instead of Mega, Mediafire, OneDrive, Google Drive because they all had issues. Mediafire was slow. Mega, sometimes it would make you pay, and Google Drive and OneDrive, the file would just delete sometimes. So we're using this new site. It's downloads.realsmod.com. It's custom hosted, um, and this is good for many reasons. It's faster, it's more reliable, uh, and it's better in, in many other ways. 
So you'd go to downloads.realsmod.com, obviously. Uh, link is obviously on the Patreon post. And uh, then what you want to do is make sure you're under public and early access content. And then you, again, if, if the mod is public, uh, there will be a, a file here called public downloads. Um, and it'll be called the Reels mod. And you can just download it there. But if it's still in early access, you're going to need to sign in with your Patreon. You're going to click unlock with Patreon. It'll bring you here. If you're already signed in, it will show you this. If you're not, then you're going to need to sign in. Um, so that's pretty simple. It will show you, you know, enter your username and password, do that. Then you're just going to click allow. You can read what it does. It doesn't, they can't edit anything. It just needs to see basically who you're, uh, how much you're pledged to the Reels mod Patreon uh, and like your name. Once you've done that, you're going to see this. Oh, Patreon early access downloads for your username. You're going to be able to download the file and then you'll see the file name and the file size. It's almost 10 gigabytes. So yeah, you're just going to click download like you do if it was a public file too. Um, but as you can see, the download speeds are pretty good considering I get about half of that on Mediafire. So yeah, it's pretty fast. However, if you are running to slow download speeds, click slow download speeds. Basically, I'd recommend using a VPN. A good one is Winscribe and use the link here uh, to get some more free gigabytes a month. Um, but there are many others, NordVPN, ExpressVPN, et cetera, et cetera. And I cover all this and more about this download center in my custom download center mo uh, video, which I'll link in the description. It was one of the newest videos on my channel. I go over some errors and a lot more detail about the site. Uh, if you're running into any issues, I'd recommend you do that. But the biggest issue you'll run into uh, is that maybe you'll say that you've already canceled so you can't download the mod. So basically how Patreon works is that you get charged on the uh, first, uh, uh, that you get charged when you sign up and on the first of the month. So say you sign up uh, May 2nd, and then you cancel May 5th. Well, you'll still get access to your Patreon perks until May uh, 31st, uh, until the next month. But uh, because of how the Patreon API works, we can't control this and we don't want it to happen, is that if you've canceled, it will not let you download the mod. However, you don't have to worry, you can re-pledge, you can resubscribe for totally free because you'll have a credit from earlier in the month. So yeah, just go to Patreon, my memberships, and then resubscribe uh, if it gives you that error. And then I should also mention one more thing, and that's the official ReelsMod Discord server. It has almost 25,000 members and uh, everyone helps the, each other out. I'm in that server, I help everyone out. There, I have a support team of great people who also help everyone out. So yeah, if you're running into any issues at any point with anything, say, oh, the download center is not working. Oh, uh, you know, the mod's not working. I can't install it. Or I found an issue in the mod, et cetera, et cetera. Report it in this Discord server. Don't report it on YouTube or Patreon or Twitter or Facebook or Instagram because I'll just redirect you to the server because um, this, is, this is how we help people. So again, uh, link is in the description. It should appear on screen now. It's totally free to join. It just takes two seconds. You just create a username. So yeah, please join the Discord. Anyways, let's say now you've downloaded the mod. Again, it may take some time because this is a 10 gigabyte mod, so it's a big file to download. But let's skip to once you've downloaded the file. So now, as you can see, we have downloaded the Fight vs. FIFA 21 Reels mod 1.1.rr. Uh, you can see it's uh, over 10 gigabytes, 10.3 actually. Um, so now the first thing we want to do is we need to extract it. And uh, it, because it's a RAR file, we need to uh, extract it using a program called WinRAR. There are many that you can use. WinZip, I, I think, is one. I think there's one called 7-Zip. But WinRAR is the best. It's free. It's easy. So I would highly recommend you use it. If you don't already have it installed, you probably do. But uh, in case you don't, you want to go to rarlab.com slash download.htm. Links in the description. And then select whichever download you want. So the language you want and then uh, whatever bit your system is. So just download that. It will download an exe installer you can just go through the installation process there are tutorials on google i'm not going to cover it here but once we've installed it we can just open it and you'll get a screen like this this is normal and you want to extract the whole folder somewhere on your pc you don't want to just extract some files or something you want to extract everything so just go here drag it and release and it'll start to extract or you can go extract to and then select the location click ok i've already done that though as you can see here so we can open the folder and it'll be greeted with all of this so now uh, everything, uh, I'm not going to cover what every mod does, uh, but you can get the gist of it. Backgrounds, they replace the menu background, optional faces, they're, you know, the faces that you don't have to use, but you can. And then obviously the mods are pretty self-explanatory. I will make a video in the future about what each each mod does, what each folder does, etc, etc, but not right now. Um, if you, again, if you, if you have a question, ask in the Discord and I'll answer you. So now, to use these mods, we're going to need a program called FIFA 21 Mod Manager. You may have heard of a program called Frosty Mod Manager if you modded uh, FIFA 20. We no longer use that. We use the uh, FIFA tw uh, 21 Mod Manager, which is much better. It's more custom to FIFA and has a lot of new features and is more stable. So to, to download that, you want to go to 
fifaeditortool.com slash down, link in the description appearing on screen now. And you want to use the latest version, which is V1.0.6. Maybe there's a later version at the time you're watching this, but you want to use this version. So even if you've already installed it, make sure you're using this version. So you probably want to re-download it because this version has a ton of new features for the Mon Manager and a ton of new bug fixes and it's more stable and so much more. So you'd go here, you just click download on the Mod Manager and I'll open uh, this tab, it's mega window. Um, uh, there's the editor tool, but that's not what we want to use the mod. We don't, we don't need that, we want the Mod Manager. So go here, click download. You can sign into mega if you need to create an account, um, but yeah, you, do, you shouldn't need to. Just let it download and then it will download. It's a RAR2, so you're gonna need to use WinRAR to extract it. So you'll open it and then you'll just extract this somewhere on your PC, this folder. So let's do that now. I'd recommend extracting it uh, in your documents folder or something like that. So we've done that. Now we just wanna open the EXE. You can run it as an administrator if you want to by right, right click, run as administrator, but you shouldn't need to. However, if you are having issues, I would recommend doing so. So as you can see, you'll open it and you'll see this. Uh, so the first thing we wanna do is import the mods. There are three ways to do this. Uh, the best way is just to click import mods here navigate to where we installed the mod, and you can import the RAR, but I would not recommend it. It will extract everything and it'll take forever. The easiest way is to go here and select the mods you want. Most people, they'll obviously just want the main mods, uh, so you just select these, click open, but sometimes you'll want other mods, like the expanded national team experience mod, um, you know, which has the new national teams and stuff like that. Maybe you want some, some TV logos or a scoreboard or whatever, what manager outfits, whatever, whatever. But again, you just select the mods and click open. Another way you can do this is go to the mods folder, select the mods you want to use, and then drag them onto the mod manager. Just drop them and it'll work. Or you can even select an individual mod and double click on it or go here and then go open. So I've uh, chosen the mods I want to use. I've you know, just applied them here. Um, there's a few things I'll go over. First, how do you apply a mod? Well, once you've imported the ones you want to use, you select the ones you want to apply, and then you click apply mods, and then this will change, obviously. Um, and again, you need to apply the mods, you cannot just import them. So when you import them, you'll go like this, then you'll select the ones you want to use, maybe just these, you click apply. Then another question people ask is what order should the mods be in? Really, it doesn't matter too much most of the time. Um, but when it does, you're just going to want to use common sense and breed. So for instance here, if you're just using the main mods, um, it doesn't matter as long as the expanded national team mod is below the realism mod. So right now it's not, so we can use these controls so we can either drag it or we can use the down to bottom button. And now this is fine. Um, most of the time it will say in the file or folder name where it should be on the applied list. And if you have any questions, ask in the Discord. Uh, and also ask if you're having any mod manager issues. A few more things, we can select the locale.ini file uh, if the gameplay mod is applied, and I would highly recommend this. Uh, any, All of these locales, they have great gameplay tweaks and they unlock graphics. Um, it's all about personal preference, so read what it says, try them out, there's no best one, but I'll just use this one. We can also toggle between DirectX and 11. Uh, you should probably use DirectX 11. 12 may have some issues with crashing, but again, it just depends on your PC. But 99.9% .9 of the time, you're gonna wanna use DirectX 11. Settings, we can edit the FIFA settings. I'd recommend using Windows borderless, but yeah. Uh, we can see the mod description here. We can see whatever, whatever. We can see the effective files. Conflicts, don't pay too much attention. It does not matter too much. Then we can launch or we can launch uh, delete FIFA mod data launch. If you've used the mod manager before, then I'd recommend you delete FIFA mod data launch the first time. So we can go do that. And then it will say this. Now this can take some time because it, well, we can see this is almost seven gigabyte mods that I'm using. Uh, it, could, it can take up to 30 minutes or longer, but if you want to speed it up, uh, make sure you install FIFA 21 and the mod manager on the C drive, on your C drive or your SSD drive. But yeah, let's just wait for these uh, to open and then we'll get into some final things. So as you can see, FIFA has launched and this is how you know it's working. We can see the Reels mod splash screen. Again, if anything looks not right at this time, join the Discord, ask and I'll help you out. That's almost it for the tutorial. There are a few things I've not covered, such as loading the Reels mod squad file um, and applying the Lua scripts. Luckily, I've already made separate tutorials for those things, which I'll link in the description. Um, they are pretty self-intuitive, uh, self but there are tutorials that you can check them out if you need help with them. I will quickly cover loading the squad file, I think. Um, so the squad files are located in, if you're, if you're using the expanded national team mod, you need to use the expanded national team experience squad files, like I am. If not, just use the ones in the main folder. 
Uh, and then there's the normal one and the one with faces and tattoos applied. I want to use the one with faces and tattoos applied. So I copy it. I go to documents, FIFA 21 settings, paste it in here. It's already there for me, so I'll do that. You can see it was modified at 12 p.m. So I'll go here. Uh, we want to load into FIFA, obviously. Um, and the squad files contain many different things. Obviously, they include the faces. Um, well, not the face content, but the face assignments. If, if you're using the one with faces, they include realistic ratings, some added teams, etc., etc. So we'll go customize profile, load squads, and then we will select um, whichever squad file we want. So this is the national faces one. And then we can see it's working. Well, there's a few things we can do. We can see um, all the international, all the added international teams. We can see some of the faces if we want. Um, let's go here. We'll go to Barcelona because they have a lot. You know, we can see an update for Ter Stegen, update for Pique, Langley, Alba, you know, Messi, Busquets update, De Jong update, Coutinho update, uh, you know, Griezmann update, but Braithwaite has a new face. Pianek and Roberto have updates, and Titi has an update. Dembele has an update, but then the new face is Fatty has a new face. Trencao, Puig, Alenia, Pedri, Fernandez, Araujo, Mingueza, Morbia, De La Fuente, Colado, you know, tons, tons, tons of new players. And we can see all the added, uh, you know, new stuff there. So there's really a ton, a ton of new content here. If you want to see Greenwood's face, we can do that too. Um, but yeah, that's probably going to be it for the tutorial. Again, if you need help with anything mod related, join the Discord. Don't ask on Patreon or YouTube or Twitter. Um, join the Discord and I will help you out. Um, uh, yeah, there are tutorials for other things. Link in the description. The description is a great resource of other stuff you might need. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I've been running out of time, think I need a rewind, feeling out of life I put everything aside, hoping that I make it right, all the things I do for you